Okay guys, I went through and just did a video and putting each one of these uh, little pieces and fittings in place. And my God, it was the most dull thing I'd ever seen. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna do the cliff notes of this. Make sure you put these back in the right spot, all of these little jets. Remember you're dealing with aluminum and brass, so you don't wanna over tighten. You definitely don't wanna cross thread. Make sure that you have the correct one back in the correct size. Now, if that means taking a picture of this one so you don't get it mixed, this one mixed up with this one, then by all means take a picture. Nothing wrong with it. I take 50 and 60 pictures sometimes when I'm working on motors I've never dealt with. So now all of these are in. Now, this guy right here tightens in place. And I counted the turns that I took that I took off. One, two, and a half. Sorry about that. Two and a half turns is what it was set on. So that will get me in the ballpark there. Now I'm going to pause it right here. More to come, guys. Okay, guys, this is the bowl for the carburetor. It's been cleaned out nice and clean. There is a drain. So we're going to reinstall that drain. There we go. That one's into place. I'll snug it up. Well, I'll use this. I'll just be careful. There we go. This guy is in place. Now, we're going to put the needle and the float together. This one just slides in. Some of them lock, uh, some of them clip in. They're all kind of different. Now, one of the things I did notice when I got this thing taking it apart was that the needle valve was stuck. So that was causing the problem with this motor. But when you have it down that far, why not just go ahead. Now, I will get some pliers and push this guy in place. More to come, guys. Okay, guys, now. Working pretty good, so. That is where we're gonna stop this video with these guys. This is on. This is the anti-backfire solenoid. It's been clipped. I'm gonna keep this because this has now become just a bolt holding it in place. If you have a bolt, you can you can take this out and toss it. This is the O-ring that I think uh, will fit. I'm going to carry it with me when I go tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to actually carry the whole carburetor with me just to make sure. More to come. Okay, guys, now we're back and we're through with that. Sorry about that. That was mind-numbing. Um, Normally it only takes about 15 minutes if you're going to do it by yourself. Uh, recording it, you know, takes a while because you have to stop and reposition. And I, uh, I took 15 extra shots that you'll never see because they weren't in the view. I mean, it just wasn't a good view. But that's what we got right there. That's finished. Actually, this is quite similar to the uh, uh, carburetor in uh, the 16 horsepower overhead valve uh, V-twin. Uh, the twins that I got, it's similar to those. So, we'll see. I think this thing might be pretty good. Still not sure what we're going to do with it, whether or not it's going to get cleaned up and sold. Or uh, put on this. Actually, if I put it anywhere, it's going to go on this, and I'll clean that one up and sell it. I just don't need this many mowers. And why don't, if somebody had asked, why don't I take those mowers and fix them up. God, I only have so many. I, I, three is about the most I'm going to try to keep. Maybe one for 
uh, somebody to ride. Uh, this one, uh, the Murray Gator, maybe some form of kudzu, and then uh, something for her company to ride whenever they come over, or they could ride one of these. So that's where I'm at. I'm through. Man, that was tedious again. Sorry, that was a dull video. We'll blow something up and make it, make it up for you in the next video. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for everything. Thanks for commenting, rating, and subscribing. Thanks for sharing the videos, too. Y'all gonna make some mayhem. I think we're having steak.